So the Audio Tool Summer Games is well and underway at this point, and round one has officially wrapped up with its winners. I just want to say right off the bat, a competition that only lasted a week built off of a silly idea of three tone matrices, seeing 64 entries come out, and on top of that, 64 quality entries actually come out from it, has been mind-blowing. So thank you so much to everybody who put in a surprising amount of effort to what I thought would just be a funny way to kick off this game. Um, want to say right off the bat um, that there's one track in particular that really blew me away when I looked at the size of the draft and realized the amount of effort and intentionality that was put into it when I saw something the size of the ISS pump out a uh, beautiful synth bass, uh, well-placed perks, uh, end up having some phenomenal mixing, even though the artist would go on to say that the mixing was terrible. You're wrong, client. You have earned your third place placement. Because of the sheer amount of expertise you ended up showing off in this track, The Mighty Matrix. Thank you so much for your entry. Now onto a, another track that I felt like was a personal insult towards me and a style of music that I have felt this kind of come to define my presence on Audio Tool with Crystals from Lava Lamp, a song that has nailed the tasty synth bass line, one of the greatest sounds ever crafted up by mankind, morphed it out of a tone matrix and then made it percussive and plucky and thick and watery all at the same time and did better than I could out of making that sound. So thank you so much for honestly bringing a lot of joy to me hearing uh, this style of music come out of this competition. Now on to the last track that I feel like was a love letter. The first place out of the Tone Matrix challenge for the Audio Tool Summer Games is one that took a what I perceived as a flaw of the Tone Matrix, something I actually tried to work around in my own song for the challenge, um, and embraced it. So the Tone Matrix has like a built-in reverb in a sense. There is a release to all the notes and they can smear over each other if you have they're too close or too fast together. And we had Etereth? I've never said your name out loud. Eterath, Eterath, Eterath. Regardless, uh, your track, Derelict, is one that not only has just such a raw emotion to it, but one that also has a lot of love for this quality of the tone matrix. You took that release and then you bumped it up with some reverb and then distortion and then possibly more reverb, maybe some bit crusher, some more distortion, reverb, distortion, reverb, distortion, and ended up making it beautiful and melancholic and angry and like something I thought that only Dreamweaver could get out of the synthesizers on Audio Tool. Thank you so much for your entry in the Audio Tool Summer Games. Once again, to everybody, all 64 entries, it was mind blowing. Excited to see who ends up placing out for first, second, and third in Rise Challenge. And don't forget right now, at this point, we still have the JFK challenge going on right now for Kitchen Beat. So excited to see this continue on. Thank you so much.